A veteran member of the local aviation community is found dead, his plane upside down just feet away from the Collegedale Airport runway. 82-year-old Clarence Andrews built and flew planes as a hobby, but something went terribly wrong after takeoff on Monday. News Channel 9's Drew Balea has been on the scene all day. He's streaming live from the airport with the latest. Good evening, Drew. Good evening, Kim. Uh, that's right. Clarence Andrews of Signal Mountain was identified as the unfortunate victim. And if you go ahead and follow these lights, this is actually the runway of the Collegedale Airport. And if you see those red ones, you just go over that ridge and a couple hundred yards down that way, you'll find the plane wreckage. We spoke to some people today who say that Mr. Andrews was a very bright individual. He worked as an engineer for the TVA for several years. And they also said it wasn't uncommon to see him take off on these solo flights from time to time. Cut the pieces and fit them, then he comes over and welds them. Here's the wing. John Wright has been building planes for several years and shared his passion for aviation with Clarence Andrews. He knew his stuff. I was, I was always glad to work with him. Wright had been friends with Andrews for 50 years. Sometimes I was afraid to call him in because he could see all of my mistakes. But uh, he was a good engineer. A bright individual, Andrews also gave his time and effort. We consider each other part of our family, you know, and, and his loss is going to be devastating to us. Clay Engel worked alongside Andrews with the Special Tactics and Rescue Service, and he says he lived life to the fullest. But he was nowhere near one of these people just sit in the houses and watch TV. I mean, he rode motorcycles, you know, up until six months ago, and he built this plane himself. 82-year-old Andrews took his self-made 20-year-old Cassett up for a test ride this past Sunday. He intended to go up and he maybe had a new prop on. This is the north end at the Collegedale Airport where Wright says based on wind direction, Andrews was likely taking off when something must have gone wrong and he got tangled in these trees and went down. And maybe his heart quit that minute or something, or maybe his machine quit that minute. Authorities got the 911 call just before 1 this morning when Andrews never returned to Collegedale Airport. The Civil Air Patrol and other local units scoured the area looking for the wreckage. They found the small plane in the backyard of a home off of McDonald Road. Andrews inside, dead. I'm not glad to bury him or sad, really. It's just uh, the way life goes. Andrews had a wife and three children as well, and we're also told that the uh, Federal Aviation Administration and the National Transportation Safety Board will be on scene, uh, well, they were on scene earlier today, and they will be on scene throughout the evening investigating and looking for more details to determine just why his plane went down. Live in Collegedale, Drew Balea, News Channel 9. Drew Balea,